Hey guys, uh, so uh, this is a small video on uh, how to back up your on-premise file share to Azure file share and how do we back up the Azure file share. So uh, the basic components which is required, right? We need an Azure subscription. So it can be a new one or existing one. So if uh, it is a new brand new customer to Azure, it's pretty simple because we'll have a new tenant. We can sync the on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory, create a storage account, set up the file share and start the synchronization and backup process. So if it's an existing customer who already have, uh, you know, uh, the uh, on-premise Active Directory sync to Azure Active Directory, however, if they do not have complete access over this uh, Azure uh, subscription, right? In that case, uh, we may have to uh, use a new subscription uh, under the same tenant. So which means uh, in Azure, uh, whenever we uh, sign up for Azure, we get an Azure Active Directory, which is also called as a tenant. And under tenant, you can have multiple subscriptions. So if we are using the existing subscription, it is easy because we have complete access and the uh, Azure Active Directory is configured uh, to provide role-based access control on file share. So it is pretty easy to do that. In case uh, you do not have access to the subscription, right? We can create another subscription under the same tenant so that we still have access to the Azure Active Directory. So uh, that's one. And uh, VPN. So VPN is required if you want to access the uh, file share securely over the uh, internet. Uh, we can either use, uh, uh, you know, site to site is recommended for enterprises or even point to site for individuals who just want to access the file share securely. And Azure Resource Group. Resource Group is nothing but a container uh, where you put all these services together. So just consider like if you want to organize something in your laptop, you create a folder and put all the files within that, right? In Azure, we create a resource group and, uh, you know, uh, create the services within that. And then uh, storage account. Storage account is a place where you create a file share in Azure. So with storage account, you have multiple options like blob storage, queues, tables, and uh, file share. So we will uh, look into the file share today. And then uh, the Azure recovery services vault. This is to back up your file share on Azure. So why this is required, I'll show you in the demo. And then uh, the file sync service. Uh, this is the service which is responsible to synchronize your on-premise file share to Azure file share. And uh, Azure monitor and security to keep the file share secure. And if you want to monitor and send some alerts, you can do that. Now, I'll just show you my setup. This is my on-premise file server. And in this file server, I have set up a file share in C drive. I know it's not recommended, but for just for demo purpose. So C drive has three folders. So this is my uh, file share data files. And then this is my Azure Active Directory. Oh, sorry, not Azure Active Directory. It's my on-premise Active Directory, which is synced to Azure Active Directory. So when I go to my Azure portal, I'm using a free account. That's why you see this here. Uh, so here, what I've done is, uh, so whenever you log into your uh, Azure, right, uh, you will have a default directory. So this is my default directory for my free subscription. And uh, under my default directory, uh, as I told, you can call this also as a tenant. So under this, I have a subscription, which is my uh, free subscription from Azure. So you can see here, uh, so this is my uh, Azure Active Directory and this is synced with my on-premise Active Directory, which is here using this uh, Azure AD Connect. So Azure AD Connect is uh, uh, one responsible to sync all my on-premise users. So my all my users and groups, what do you see here? Like these users here, these all are my on-premise Active Directory users. And when we go to the portal, because I've enabled Azure AD Connect, it starts syncing the users from my on-prem to Azure Active Directory. So how do you differentiate the synced user and the cloud-only user is by this option, directory synced. If it shows no, which means it's a cloud-only user. And if it shows yes, which means it's synced from my on-premise. 
Okay. Now, uh, the first thing what uh, I've already set it up. I'm not going to set up the things here, but uh, I'll just show you. I've created a storage account. Storage account is the place where you create a file share in Azure. So when I go to my storage account, I just need to open my storage account and then go to file share. So you have four options. We are not using these things here. We go to file share. And in file share, I've created a folder called on-premise file server backup. And when I open that, So these are the three folders under data files uh, folder, which is getting backed up docs, fonts, and pics. And when I go to my Azure portal, you can see here, it is getting backed up. So how was it working? How do uh, Azure know this is the uh, folder which I need to back up? So first thing is on your on-premise file server, you need to install a storage sync agent. This is uh, downloadable, downloadable from Azure uh, Microsoft portal you need to install it on the on-premise file server which you intend to take a backup and then uh, we need to create a storage sync service so this service is something which creates a link between your on-premise file share to your azure file share so i have already created that and as you can see here right so this is my cloud endpoint which is my azure file server or azure file share and this is my on-premise, which is my on-premise uh, file share. So it's kind of creating a logical link between these two. And uh, if you want to add a multiple file share, uh, you just need to uh, you know click on Add Server Endpoint. And here you can see uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, register a new file server if you'd like. Uh, the thing what I noticed here is it is good to give a root directory uh, if you intend to copy the complete file share. So for example, uh, in my file share, I have given this location, C data files, which means all the folders under this will get backed up because in here, we can just specify one path per server. So when you're intending to back up a file share, provide the root directory, which has all the subdirectories so that it gets backed up. So there are some concepts called cloud tiering and offline data transfer. This uh, will uh, see it in uh, later things. So let's cancel this. And uh, yep, uh, as I showed you, I have all the data which is uh, you know uh, getting backed up from my on-premise file share to my Azure. All right. So now. Here is the place where uh, you know uh, if we feel that our file is safe because from on-premise to Azure it's already copied. That's not the case because if I accidentally delete this file, say for example, what happens here if I refresh? I'm yeah, you can see here the file is gone even here. So when I delete or when a user delete a file uh, from the file share on premise, the since the synchronization happens, the deleted file is also replicated to your on premise, which means the file here is also deleted. Now, for, this is the reason why we need a backup on Azure file save. So what we do is we use Azure recovery services vault. And here, what this does is we kind of create a backup for the file share. So we schedule a backup, uh, we schedule the storage account, and then we specify when to backup. So in my demo, I'm just backing up daily backup. Okay, so every day there will be one backup of my file share. So how it works is from your on-premise, your data is synced to the Azure file share, and from your file share on Azure, it is getting backed up. So now if I want to restore the file which got deleted, right? It's pretty simple. I just go to uh, my storage account since the backup is already enabled. And then open my storage account and then go to backup. And there is options here to restore, share, 
so we can do uh, multiple things out here uh, so i go to a file back, uh, file restore and it'll ask me to choose a snapshot which means uh, there are two backups taken i'll go with the latest one select and then yeah i put it in the original location and uh, i add a file which one i want to restore i go to docs and as you can see the file is here i just select this select here and then click on ok and then restore so the restore is happening so in some time uh, let me go back here if i open this I'll just give it some time uh, it doesn't take much it's a very small uh, text file uh, so when the process is triggered let's see just take some time but it gets uh, restored uh, let's wait for a while Okay, so while okay yeah it's done uh, so the uh, doc file is restored here and in some time uh, you would see that replicated over to your on-premise as well we'll just give it some time uh, it'll take some time okay now the other thing what I want to show is uh, without VPN as well you can uh, in case of a DR if you want to mount your Azure file share directly to your on-premise server right uh, even if you don't have VPN, there is an option, but it's not uh, recommended, I would say. So all you need to do is just go here, do a map network drive, and then select a drive uh, later. So we just need to use these properties. I'll show you where to get those properties from. How do we get those properties? What I had in Notepad is you go to the file share, open the file share, you have an option called connect. And here you will have all the options. This is a script actually. If you want to run this uh, directly on the machine you intend to connect your file share from Azure, you can do that. Copy the script to run it in a PowerCLI and it will do it but I'm doing it in a manual way, like a traditional network file. So if you see here, my on-premise uh, laptop, I have a show file share here. And the uh, best part of this is, uh, if you enable backup, right, you can do a restore from here as well. So if you go to properties, if you go to previous versions, it'll show you the backup which it has taken yesterday and today. So from here also, you can, restore the files so that's the other thing which i noticed and uh yeah pretty much uh it uh so this is how in a very basic way how you back up your on-premise file share to assure and how do you back up the file share on assure uh and uh, we just saw the uh, demo of restoring the file deleting the file so uh, this is something which I want to show. Yeah, if you see here, the file is restored here, you know, in some time. So the main thing is if you want to implement the uh, rule-based uh, access control using the Active Directory users, uh, the, you just need to make sure you create a new subscription. If you don't have subscription to the existing one, if you don't have permission to the existing subscription, you can create a new one under the same tenant so that, uh, you know, we have all the uh, users uh, uh, already synced and we can make use of that. Right. Thank you.